Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of JotForm, which is a great system for creating online forms for people to fill out on your website or to create a fillable PDF. Let's go ahead and get started here. I'm signed into my account and let's create a new form. We'll do the classic form of everything on one page. You can see here there's also the option to do all of your questions on individual pages. And we can pick from a template. We can even import a form from Google Forms if you want, or we can start from a blank form. We'll call this one Chaperone Registration. And now we're going to add elements to our form. On the left hand side, we'll see Add Form Element, and we can go in and start adding the questions that we want. So we have full name, let's go in and add email address, ask for phone numbers, and you can see additional question types that we can add down here. And you can see we can even ask questions in which people respond by uploading files. And in this case, we'll add a little CAPTCHA code as well. Now on the right hand side, this is where we can use the form designer. And we can customize the color scheme, our page colors, our form colors. We can change our font colors here, change our background colors. We can change the spacings, change our font size to make it 18 point font instead of 14 point font. You can even change out your button style. Nice big blue button there. And if you really want to get advanced, you can use the advanced designer at the bottom of the page. And here you'll have even more options for designing the layout and color scheme of your form, including the option to write your own custom CSS. So now I'm ready to preview my form. And we can see how it will look on desktop, tablet, and phone. Now let's go ahead and publish this form. Now there's a direct link to it. We also have the option here to embed it into a web page. And finally we have the option for a fillable PDF. We'll go ahead and download that. And if you wanted to email out your form as a PDF for people to fill out rather than filling it out on a web page, you can do that. Now back here in the quick share, I'm going to copy that link. Let's take a look and see how a person viewing the form will fill it out. So let's say a person comes to fill it out. And so the person now fills that out and submits it. Now you'll see there in that case, I need to go back in and 
move my submit button. So let's go back in and take a look and see how we can edit this. And drag that submit button down to the bottom of the page. And that'll work a heck of a lot better the next time. Now back here in my list of forms, I can see that one person has submitted the form. Let's go ahead and take a look at those submissions now. So we have our submissions loaded or our submission loaded. I have a nice one sheet with all that information. I also have the option to download all submissions as Excel or CSV or PDF files. If I want to print it out, simply click on the print button and I can print that out as well. I can go back to my forms at any time and add more forms and more questions to existing forms as well. So that's a short overview of how you can create online forms and fillable PDFs by using JotForm. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.